Calling all masters. Hey everyone, this is Lauren Gaming, and this is your Master Scattering Report for the Fake Grand Order and the Garden of Sinners collaboration event, the Garden of Order. The event will last for two weeks, from February 8th to February 22nd. You will get three Saint Courts as part of the Facebook promotional campaign leading up to the event, and we'll also get a Saint Courts for every hour of maintenance before the event starts. Now, I'm going to be asleep during that time, so I'm hoping there's some extended maintenance because, you know, I want more Saint Courts for Sean Alter. With this event, we'll be getting two new servants, one of which is going to be the event servant that we can earn for free, and the other one is the five star that will be added to the limited gacha pool for the duration of the event and will be taken off after it's over. Both of these servants will be two different versions of Ryogi Shiki, the main heroine of the Karuna Kyokai series. Or the Garden of Sinners, if that's the title you're used to. First up, we have our four star version that you can earn during the event and get all the way to MP5, by the way, her assassin form. It has two quicks, two arts, and one buster. A noble phantasm, which I will not read the first part of because I'm just gonna butcher that. Mystic Eyes of Death Perception. It's a single target arts, and its overcharge effect is a chance to inflict instant death. If you would like more information about it, I will leave relevant links in the description below. Next up, we have her 5 star saber form that you can roll for in the event banner. She has the standard saber card spread of 1 quick, 2 arts, and 2 busters. And her noble phantasm, which I will not read again because I'm just going to butcher that. Boundary of Emptiness. It is a multi-target arts noble phantasm. With an overcharge effect with a chance to inflict instant death to all opponents. And next up, we are drowning in new craft essences, guys. We are drowning in them. There's 10 new ones for this event, and we will be using them to help farm the missions in the event and the currencies in the event. Now, it might seem overwhelming at first, seeing that there's 10 new ones to keep track of, but I'll break it down into their own sections and hopefully help you guys understand what exactly we'll be using these for. But for a quick read off, we have the 5 star Decapitating Bunny 2018, Threefold Barrier, Grand Puppeteer, Mature Gentleman, the 4 star summoner's precognition, chorus, vivid dance of fist, and mystic eyes of distortion, and we have the 3 stars repeat magic, and sprinter. And as I said before, I'll explain them in their own separate sections. Six of them will be from the event banner gotcha, and the other four will be from the event shop. Alright, and for the garden center's collaboration banner, it will last during the whole duration of the event, with a servant rate up for Ryokushiki, 5 star, her saber form. And also, the six craft essences will also be on radar. Cream Puppeteer, Mature Gentleman, Mystic Eyes of Distortion, Vivid Dance of Fist, Repeat Magic, and Sprinter. And if we're following the trend of the events, the two three star craft essences, Repeat Magic, and Sprinter will also be available in the Friend Point draw. Which I will be abusing because I don't want to spend any more quartz than I have to, because I need to save those for Jean Alter. She'll be mine. <clears throat> okay, so for the event shop. Similar to other events, there will be three different currencies, mineral water, strawberry ice cream, and black cat figurines. And for this event, unlike the past ones, you don't necessarily focus on a specific AP mission to get your currencies. Instead, you'll be concentrating on clearing certain quests which have a high amount of a certain enemy, an enemy that drops a currency that you're needing. For example, some quests contain a large amount of skeletons, which drop mineral water. So, if you're needing to farm that currency, You'll be doing those quests which contain large amounts of skeletons. And in the event shop, you'll be able to purchase the other four craft essences that weren't available in the banner. Now you really want to focus on getting these craft essences with the first currencies you get because they each increase the amount of a certain enemy that you'll want to farm during these quests. Meaning, more of a chance for a currency to drop. But in the event shop, you'll be able to buy four summoner's precognition for 100 mil water each, five chorus for 100 mil water each, 5 threefold barriers for 100 strawberry ice creams each, and 5 decapitating bunny 2018s for 100 black cat figurines each. Also from the event shop, be able to purchase foe cards, EXP cards, skill gems for all classes, essential materials including void dust, phoenix feathers, gears, lanterns, and clouds of chaos, as well as getting QP and 1000 mana prisms. You know, those mana prisms you want from Mona Lisa, you get some more here. Alright, and on gathering the currencies I mentioned earlier, having these six craft essences from the event banner will help you get them. The 5 star Grand Puppeteer Mature Gentleman will increase every drop of Black Cat figurines by plus one, two if maximum broken, 
The four stars, Vivid Dance of Fist and Mystic Eyes of Distortion will increase every drop of strawberry ice cream by plus one or two if maximum are broken. And the three stars, Repeat Magic and Sprinter will increase every drop of mineral water by plus one or two if maximum are broken. Now, under each set of craft essences, I have listed the monsters you want to be focusing on to get those currencies. For Black Cat figurines, we'll be focusing on Vengeful Spirits of Seven People and Rapunzel. For Strawberry Ice Cream, we'll be focusing on Base Model and Living Corpses. For Mineral Waters, we'll be focusing on Apartment Ghost and Skeletons. As for which quests you want to be focusing on to defeat these monsters, I will address that in the next section. Okay. And in addition to increasing your currency drops with the previous craft essences from the banner, you can increase how many enemies spawn during quests with the four craft essences you get from the event shop. Now the way this works is that each craft essence will increase the spawn rate of a certain enemy. Chorus will increase the spawns of apartment ghosts and skeletons. Summoner's Precognition will increase the spawns of living corpse. Threefold Barriers will increase the spawns of base model and Decapitating Bunny 2018 will increase the spawns of Vengeful Spirits. Now, to better explain how this works, let's take uh, Apartment Ghosts for example. There are four of them in room 302, and if you have one chorus, that's a 25% chance that each individual ghost will spawn another one. So, if you get that 25% chance every time, you'll see eight ghosts in room 302. Likewise, there's a chance a 25% chance will fail every time and you only see the 4 ghosts that is initially in room 302. But do keep in mind these bonuses stack, so if you have 2 choruses equipped, that's a 50% chance every time that a ghost from 302 will spawn another one. And yes, stacking that appearance rate to 100% will guarantee that you will double the monsters in that room. Just remember, you need to match up the craft essences with the room you're going to. Having threefold barrier is not going to help you in room 302 with apartment ghosts when threefold barrier is meant to increase base model appearances. So for a quick overview of which craft essences to match up with which rooms of monsters, we have chorus which will help with apartment ghosts and skeletons, ghosts are in room 302, 201, 501, and 502, skeletons are in 103, 401, and 603, Seven's precognition will help with living corpse in room 101 and 802, Threefold Barriers will help with Base Model in room 202, 403, 602, and 702. And Decapitating Bunny 2018 will help with Vengeful Spirits in room 301, 402, 503, 803, and the parking lot. So, utilizing both the Event Banner's Craft Essences to increase Currency Drops, and using the Event Shop's Craft Essences to increase Monster Rates which drop the Currencies, will help with your farming during the event, and remember, for the Emmy Rate Craft Essences, if you max limit break them, it'll increase that Emmy Rate chance from 25% to 50%. So if you have one max limit broken Emmy Rate CE, two normal CEs, and then the rest as currency CEs, there'll be a good balance for farming your currencies. Okay, so that does it for the event shop and its currencies, but what else do we have? Missions and the rewards. Similar to the master missions we get every week, there'll be 100 missions that we can do during this event. The mission objectives range from defeating certain types of enemies, clearing certain floors, completing a certain amount of missions, ascending Shiki, getting her bomb level up. There's really a lot of different objectives for these missions. For a full list of these missions, I will leave a link in the description below because it's not practical to list all of them here. As you clear through the missions, you unlock more quests, which you can see here on the right. Hey, this time we don't get a list for the uh, quest selection. We get a whole area map, like uh, with the singularities. There's eight different floors in the apartment, as well as a parking lot, and the rooftop, which we will get to in the very end. Now, ideally, you want to clear through all the missions, but the ones to focus on if you want to max your Ryogi Shiki free event servant are clear room 504 to get her first, then defeat 20 Rapunzel's, defeat 40 evil servants, clear room 1 on each floor, and complete 90 missions. That will give you all the copies of Ryogi Shiki to get her MP level to 5. And for Ascension materials, you want to clear the missions, clear your room on the first 3 floors, then the first 6 floors, complete 30 missions, and 60 missions. And the rewards you'll get for clearing the other missions are summon tickets, gold apples, Homunculus Babies, Horse Shoes, Proofs of Hero, Dragon Teeth, Reverse Dragon Scales, Class Monuments and Pieces, Class Gems, Hearts of the Foreign God, Unlucky Bones, Digital Seeds, Gears, Octoplet Crystals, Saint Quartz, and Mana Prisms, as well as the Crystallized Lore for clearing all the missions. Now one last thing I'll include to help you with the missions is this picture 
This is from the Fake Render Wikia. It's a really helpful image because a lot of the missions will say, defeat X amount of evil servants, defeat X amount of female servants, and this image will help you dictate where those are on the map. And that wraps up my Garden of Sinners event guide. Remember to take your time, guys. This event is lasting two weeks, so enjoy it. If you like the Karuna Kyokai series, you'll probably get a kick out of this. I myself have only seen the first movie, but I'm going to try and watch the rest of it during the event, just to get into the spirit. And I suggest you guys watch it as well. They're both Type Moon properties. Kinikunasu is the writer of the Karuna Kyokai series. So if you like Fate stuff, you'll probably like Karuna Kyokai as it is the same people behind it. But you can watch this series legally on Amazon Prime Video. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you found it informative. This time the event's a bit different from what we're used to with the whole mission format, but I think we'll get through it just fine. Be sure to like this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, and follow me on Twitter if you want to stay updated on what I'm doing. I am planning on doing more Karna Kyokai event videos as the event goes on, and also check out my Fate Extra Last Encore episode review and impression videos. So if you're interested in Fate Extra, come and enjoy with me. And as always guys, thank you for watching this video. I'm Lauren Gaming, and I'm signing out.